Hey, third graders, welcome back. We're going to continue working on elapsed time today, but our learning target today involves doing elapsed time using a number line. So if you can turn to page 273 in your math journal, 273, we're going to start on a number line. It's a word problem, and we're going to have to analyze that information and figure out what they are asking us to do. So let's take a look at what it actually looks like on a number line. Let me turn my light on for a little bit brighter spot there. Okay. One thing I want you to do is on this number line, we're going to be adding time. Okay. So that means they're going to give us the start and we have to find the end time. So I want you to write that down at the top of your journal. Okay. When we're adding time, we're finding the end time. Okay. And let's just read this word problem and see where we need to start. It says, Keisha went into a park at 1.30 p.m. She hiked for one hour, 35 minutes. Then she went to the picnic area for 45 minutes and left the park. What time did Keisha leave the park? Okay, so this is our question, right? What time did Keisha leave the park? So we're looking for that end time. Okay, so let's go back. There's a lot of information here. We're just gonna take it bit by bit, little small chunks. So she went into a park at 1.30 p.m. You can see right here on my number line, they've showed us where 1.30 p.m. is. Right with that arrow, this number line goes from one o'clock to four o'clock. So we're gonna be working between that time span. And remember, elapsed time is how much time passes between uh, two points, two activities or two end points. I also want you to know that these little tick marks are just like the tick marks like on a clock. If I were to hop between tick marks, like from there to there, that's gonna be a five minute hop, okay? So here's one o'clock, 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, there's 130 where that arrow is, okay? So every hop is gonna be five minutes, just like it would on a round clock. So if she's starting here at 1.30, this is when she gets to the park, that's her start time. So let's write start underneath. And it tells us that she hiked for one hour, 35 minutes. Remember, if I'm writing or circling, I want you to do the same thing on your journal. So she hiked for an hour and 35 minutes. Okay. Maybe you wanna hop an hour first and then your minutes. Maybe you wanna hop the minutes first and then the hour, it doesn't matter. We should all end at the same spot, okay? Since it's 1.30, I know that if I add an hour, that's gonna bring me to 2.30, right? Because I'm gonna go all the way around the clock one whole time. So if I've got my Annie clock and it's 1.30, remember to go a whole hour, I have to go to the same spot on the minutes. So I'm gonna go all the way around until I get back to that same spot, and that's 2.30. So I'm gonna draw a hop from 1.30 down to 2.30, just like that. Okay, so I've gone my hour. I like to cross it off. Now I need to go 35 more minutes. Remember I told you, these little hops are five minutes, right? So I could go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes. Okay, so here's my one hour and my 35 minutes. Let's write one hour on here. Let's write 35 minutes. Okay, so I've done my one hour and my 35 minutes. Let's think about what time is that. If three o'clock is right here and we're one hop past, remember I told you that's just like one big hop on our clock, right? A hop is like that. We hop in five minute chunks like that. So this would be 305 right here, right? So right there is 305. So I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. But we're not done, right? Because then she went to the picnic area for 45 minutes and left the park. So now she's going to her picnic for 45 minutes. So we wanna add 45 minutes from this point. We're at 305, 
we want to add 45 more minutes. Okay, I'm going to make them a little bit taller. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So right here is where I land. There's her 45 minute picnic. Okay, so I want to think. If this is 330, where it's showing me right here, 335, 340, 345, 350. So this would be 350. And I'm going to double check because if I keep counting, right, 355, 4 o'clock. I should end at 4 o'clock. Yep, I think I counted right. So, right, it asks what time did Keisha leave the park? Keisha left the park at 3.50 p.m. Right, we want to add that p.m. on there because we need to know the difference between the a.m. before noon and p.m. afternoon. Okay, so using a number line to add time. When we're adding time, we're finding the end time, right? What time did she leave? Okay. These can be long, right? You have to be thinking how many different activities are here. They give us the start time, right? And they give us all the different activities, but they don't give us the end time. So we're trying to find the end time. Let's try one more. Let's do number three together. Now we're going to turn the page because we're going to shift our mindset. Okay, number three says Caleb started working in the yard at 8.45 a.m. He raked for one hour 45 minutes and mowed for 45 minutes. Then he went inside. What time did he go inside? And how long did he work in the yard? So they're asking us two questions. Right, so we have to take this slow. Like I said yesterday, we have to take our time when we're working on time problems. So if he's working in the yard and it's 8.45, we need to find 8.45 on our number line. Here's 8.30, and I know that each hop is five more minutes, right? So this would be 8.35, 8.40, That's when he's starting working in the yard. He rakes for an hour and 45 minutes, and he mows for 45 minutes. Okay, so we have to add those times on here. So if I, 8.45, right? Let's go one hour ahead. If it's 8.45, it's gonna be 9.45, right? Because I'm just adding one hour. So let's look here, see if we can find 9.45. Here's 9.30, 9.35, 9.40, 9.45. So there's one hour. And I'm going to go 45 more minutes. So I can count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Looks like I'm at 1030 now. Right, 1030. So I've done both of those. But now he's got to mow. So he's going to go 45 more minutes mowing the yard. All right, from 10.30 to 11, that's 30 minutes, right? And he's got to go 45. So I have to go 15 more minutes, 5, 10, 15. So I'm going to end right there. I want to label this too, my 45 minutes that I was raking. Okay, so there's 30 minutes, there's 15. The two of those together make up the 45 minutes that Caleb mowed. Okay? So we got to figure out what time is that? What's the end time? If this is 11 and each hop is 15 minutes, right? I just went 15. That's 11. 15 is our end time. Now remember, it asked us two questions. What time did he go inside? So this is end time. So let's write that on the line. I'm going to say Caleb went inside at 
Is it 11.15 a.m. or p.m.? Well, it started out a.m. It did not cross over the 12 o'clock hour, so it's still a.m. Okay, so there's our first question. Now our second question, how long did he work in the yard? So we have to add all of those times together, right? An hour, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, and 15 minutes. So I wonder, can we combine any of these minutes to make one hour? Because remember, one hour equals 60 minutes. Okay, if I add 15 and 45 together, that's 60 minutes. So there's one hour. Here's one hour. And there's 30 extra minutes. So one hour, two hours, 30 minutes. So we'll write down, he worked for two hours, 30 minutes. Okay, we can use abbreviations, M-I-N, for minutes. Okay, so that one asked us two different questions, right? And that's a lot of work. It takes us quite a bit of time to figure that out. We need to slow down and go, go slowly so that we know, right, that we're getting the right answer. Counting accurately, right, paying attention to what's on the number line. So this one we were adding time, right, trying to find the end time. Let's flip the page. They're going to ask us to do something different on the back. Now we're going to subtract some time. Okay, so we're kind of going backwards. You'll notice that on this number line, the ones we just did, we moved right from, from left to right on the number line, just like when we read a book, right? We're moving from the left side to the right side, just like how we would read a sentence. And we're finding the end time because they give us the start, the beginning. Now we're going to subtract time. So we're going to take time away, right? They give us the end. So we're going to have to find the beginning or the start. So we have to actually go backwards on our number line, right? Just like we could, remember I said um, the other day, if we go forward on a clock, it's called clockwise. If we go backwards the other direction, that's called counterclockwise. Those are terms that you need to know. So we're going backwards. We're going counterclockwise on this number line. Okay. So let's read number four. And remember, you've copied this down too. You can always stop the video. Hank finished bowling at 7.15 p.m. So he finished bowling. That's the end time. He bowled for two hours and 35 minutes. At what time did he start bowling? Okay, so we're looking for the beginning time. So let's find when he ended, 7.15. Just like the other number lines, these hops are five minutes, just like they are on a clock when you're hopping from those big numbers. So let's find 7.15. Here's 7, 7.05, 7.10, 7.15. I'm going to write 7.15 right, right there. That's his end time. So now we've got to go backwards. We're going to do the same exact thing. We're just going to go in a different direction. He bowled for 2 hours and 35 minutes. Okay. So let's try, instead of going 2 hours, let's do our 35 minutes this time. Right? I said you could do it either way. Let's go backwards 35 minutes. Start at 7.15 and go back 35 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes. Okay, so we've done that part. And now we need to go back two whole hours. But I don't know what time this is to take my two hours away. It looks like 6.30. 6.35. This must be 6.40. So if I go backwards two hours, I'm going to take two hours away, right? So I'm going to go back to 5.40 and back to 4.40. So let's find 4.40 on our clock or on our number line. Here's 4.30. Here. 
is 440, right? 640, take away two hours, is going to be 440. Let me show you 640 on my anti clock. There's 6 o'clock. There's 630, 635, 640. Okay, so remember, I have to stay at that minute hand, same spot when I go around one time. Here's one hour back. Here's two hours back. Okay. That hour hand is between four and five. It's still four something. It's 440 on our clock. So when we go back two whole hours, at what time did he start bowling? 440 p.m. is when he started bowling. Okay, so just thinking, subtracting is taking away. We're taking away time, trying to find the beginning. We're going to do one more quick one, number five, and it's about music. The school music program ended at 8.35 p.m. It lasted for one hour, 50 minutes. What time did the program start? Right, what time did it start? So time is our label, right? 4.40 p.m., this is our label. If it ends at 8.35, well, here's 8.30. I know one more hop is gonna be 8.35. That's our end time. So we wanna go backwards, one hour and 50 minutes to see when it started. I know 50 minutes is really close to an hour, right? It's 10 minutes away. So I could even go back two hours and then just add back 10 minutes. Okay, so let's see, one hour, 50 minutes. If it's 8.35 and I go back 50 minutes, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, Right? What time is that? 7.30, 7.35, Now I need to go back one whole hour. So 7.45, take an hour away. What's earlier is 6.45. So let's find 6.45 on our number line. You should be getting really good at counting by fives on this number line. So there's my one hour and my 50 minutes. I landed at 645. So the program ended at 645 p.m., right? It ended at 835. It started at 645. We did not go past the 12 o'clock time to change it from a.m. to p.m. or p.m. to a.m., okay? So remember, when we're finding the start time, we have to go backwards on our number line, just like we have to go backwards on our clock, counterclockwise. When we're finding the end time, we have to go forward, just like we would on a regular clock. Okay? So remember, you can always go back, you can pause the video, right? and you can copy this down. Here's a good shot of the subtract time. I'll give you a good shot of adding time, and then remember, to take time today when you are working on your homework so that you are accurate because telling time is a really important skill and it's something that you're going to need to do all the time. You want to make sure that you're on time for a school or for a job or for a, a play date or a sporting event, right? You want to make sure that you are where you're supposed to be at the right time.